This lookout over Jerusalem's old city is almost deserted. The city's holy sites are sacred to Muslims, Jews and Christians. But now there are almost no foreign visitors. Since March, Israel's borders have been closed because of the coronavirus pandemic. Dahlia Himmelfarb usually works as a tour guide here. But for more than four months now, the Israeli has had no work. Today, she's showing her grandchildren the ancient sites instead. You can see with your own eyes the city is empty. Jerusalem is empty of tourists. There's no tourism, there's no work. Many people are unemployed and the businesses here are collapsing because of the lack of tourists. Instead, residents and many local tourists enjoy the less crowded streets. But others miss the usual mix of locals and visitors, like tattoo artist Vazim Razouk. Here in the Christian Quarter, his family has been tattooing pilgrims with a cross for centuries. Now business is down to just 5%. We also miss the energy, you know, the beautiful energy of uh, the pilgrims coming and uh, the happiness that we used to see on people's faces when they do tattoo. Sometimes it's their first tattoo and they've waited for it for so long, all their lives sometimes, to get this small cross or something as a reminder of their visit to the Holy Land. And now we miss that. Every day, Sister Nabiha walks from the nearby convent to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre to pray. In April, the church was closed, a rare event in its long history. Now it's open for just a few hours each day. It's very sad. We are not used to seeing the Holy Sepulchre Church empty like this. There are no people coming and going. Even the courtyard used to be packed. When I used to go to pray, I wasn't able to pass because of the crowd. I used to keep saying, excuse me, let me pass. It was full of life. Now it's empty and sad. The church is believed to be on the site where Jesus was buried and resurrected. While the peace and quiet is welcomed by some, most would prefer to see visitors return to help bring it back to life.